Hello. I would like to thank the U.S. government for turning me into an ATM machine. I feel like my identity has been stolen. I heard the word a trillion dollars today for the first time since probably the third grade. And it came out of the mouth of a government official. Can I equate a third grader with a government official? I wouldn't do that. But I feel like it. I'm frustrated, I'm angry, I'm disappointed of all the chaos that's going on in our financial markets due to the pride, negligence, fraud. breaking the rules, lies, deception, and we have to pay for it. It's pathetic, it's sad. Uh, many people broke the rules, and now we have to pay for it. What is the average American to do? We're stuck. <clears throat> is this truly a nation for the people, by the people? Or is it a nation for the rich, by the rich? They break the rules. They reap millions. How come they can't give those millions back? How come the CEOs of Fannie Mae and Freddie give the money back? Were they paid to fail that bad? Or badly? Excuse my English, my grammar. How horrible. What a travesty that um, America's been put through. A trillion dollars. And I'm now an ATM machine. It's not fair. All these CEOs that have failed America and reaped millions in pay and bonuses uh, are rewarded. Where are they now? How big is their house? How big are their houses how many houses do they have more than you or me rest assured it's pathetic and it's sad maybe the federal government should give more power back to the states um, I live here in Texas and FEMA still hasn't gotten straight for Hurricane Ike um, get power back to the states for loan, loan origination all parties involved in the loan should stay within that state I saw foreclosure filings where beneficiary was in one city law office conducting the foreclosure was in another city servicing the loan done by another party in another city trustees beneficiaries they should all be within one state as opposed to another state with different rules, different regulations, uh, some lax, some more stringent. Um, this has been a fiasco and it's pretty pathetic that we have to put up with it. What are we to do? Elect new officials? Well, the smartest one would make adjustable rate mortgages illegal. I hear the presidential nominees talking about how they will resolve the symptoms, but I don't see our presidential nominees talking about a cure going to the source. And a lot of this has to do with adjustable rate mortgages, fraud, lies, deceptions. In the state of Texas, it takes you about a year to conduct a good education to become a hairdresser. And I love my hairdresser, but it only takes you a week to get educated to become a loan officer. Granted, you passed your test, you can start practicing right away. That does not make any sense, and we are seeing the repercussions of that. We do need more government regulation, but more importantly, the federal government needs to give up more power to the states. I feel like an ATM machine. 
it feels pretty bad. One trillion dollars. When the future generations look back in this time of history, they hopefully will be shocked at the stupidity that we've allowed to happen to the United States of America. It hurts me deeply as an American to realize that we're in the situation we are in because somebody got greedy and somebody else got greedy and it only multiplied over time. Which party is going to stand up and do the right thing? Which city is going to stand up? Who's going to be the true maverick? Who's going to get us out of this mess? Who's going to go to the source? All those people that committed fraud on their loan applications need to go to jail. All the people that processed the loan that was that involved fraud, they need to go to jail. All the overseers and the checks and balances for these mortgage processes, they need to go to jail. The CEOs that were in charge of these companies should go to jail. If an, an individual were to take my wallet, later be found, taken a trial, found guilty, they'd be guilty of robbery, whatever the charge might be. Now, if they were to take my wallet and they used a knife, that would be robbery or armed robbery or if they used a gun arm armed robbery and let's say they took thirty dollars in each case they would do some time but when it comes to mortgages these individuals took thousands they didn't need a knife all they needed was a slick tongue and wooing eyes and a trusting face so if you committed mortgage fraud, you should deserve to go to jail. Period. I'd rather pay, I'd rather have my tax dollars go to jail these individuals than have my tax dollars pay for their million dollar mansions, their fancy schmancy cars. Which party's gonna stand up? Who's gonna do the right thing? And who's gonna go after these individuals? I'll investigate it for free. I have some free time. Why not? I'm angered and disappointed. I was rejected by the office of the comptroller of the currency. I signed up to attend a workshop. Paid for it. Got a confirmation letter. And uh, confirmation number. And um, the day of, I was rejected. Um, they came to my hometown. They could have conducted this in Washington, D.C. But uh, they needed their privacy, and I wasn't allowed because I wasn't good enough. Didn't have the qualifications to attend. And I got rejected. And I'm sure many other Americans would have been rejected as well. It's not fair. And um, I'm filled with violence inside, but um, I'm sure a lot of people that understand this situation are filled with violence. But um, you can't control how you feel, but you can control how you act. And uh, thank God I'm able to act civilly. The last thing I need is some elitist claiming, um, you know, he couldn't control himself in the first place or give some rational idea um, proving why they should they are an elitist so contact your governor your state officials your city officials county officials and tell them to outlaw adjustable rate mortgages thank you